All right, so everything I read in March of 2024. So starting off with a reread, I read The X Talk by Rachel Lynn Solomon. If you know me, RLS is my girl. So I've read pretty much all of her books now. Um, so I was just like, hey, let's reread this and see if it stands up against the test of the time. And it does. It's still five stars. It's so fun. The story's fun. It's like different. Um, I like the characters. The plot's a little crazy, but it's like fun and fresh. Um, so yeah, that's a good one to start off March with. And then I reread Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin. So I think we were reading this for book club. So I was like, hey, let me reread this. Um, four and a half stars. I will say there's something in this story that's just like a gut punch. And it's like tears, emotional, a lot going on. Um, but yeah, that's a good one. And then I was like, you know what? I've never read any other Gabrielle Zevin books. So let me read A Storied Life of A.J. Fickery, which I gave the book four stars. Um, it took me a while to get into, but once Maya came into the picture, the character Maya, I really liked it. Um, and it's like about book people and book people are amazing. I did watch the movie, avoid the movie, stick with the book, avoid the movie. Then I read Fight Club by Chuck Palahniuk. Is that how you say his name? I don't know. I have seen this movie maybe twice um, before in my book club. This was one of the options and I was like, you know what? I don't think I've ever read this book. So let me check it out. And it's very short read. So it, I went through it pretty quickly. Um, and just like the movie, the story is just crazy. And you're just like, what's going on? Um, this book is definitely very interesting uh, and the movie is interesting as well. I would give it four stars. Then I read A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. This is another book club book. So, um, we give out like three options each month and I think I read all three options this month just cause I had the time. Um, Good Girl's Guide to Murder, I would give like three and a half stars. I did think the story was interesting. I did like the mystery, but the character I couldn't get with because she was just being reckless. And I'm like, Miss Ma'am, you're not a police officer. You're walking up to people acting real crazy. And I can't with that. You're a teenager. Like, you're not, you're not really going up to people and like being like, did you kill so-and-so? Like, come on now. Then I read The Only Survivors by Megan Miranda. Um, I would give this book four and a half stars. I really enjoyed the atmosphere of the book and the story of like the students who reunite to see each other through like an anniversary of survival. Um, the then and now chapters, I like that concept. Uh, it really helped break up the story in a nice manner and added more to like the experience of the book. Then I read The Only Game in Town by Lacey Walden, which I gave four stars. Um, very cute story that's all i wrote so that's all you're getting from me as far as uh, a review i liked the story it was about you know i'm not getting plot in these videos because that's just too much so you know you have a phone you can look up the plot then i read the last to vanish by megan miranda so this is an intriguing mystery it goes through different it several disappearances and what they all have in common um, I wanted more from like character development, um, but the story progressed at such a good speed. It was kind of like, okay, that's fine. Um, I gave this one four stars. Uh, that for the last book I read from Megan Miranda, that was my first book from her. And then I went down that rabbit hole. I was like, I'm reading everything that Megan Miranda has ever written. Um, and yeah, you'll see that throughout these videos. And then I reread See You Yesterday by Rachel Lynn Solomon. Um, five stars. This is my girl. I love a time loop story. I'm a sucker for it. I want to read it. Any type of time loop, I'm like, I'm invested. I want to see what's going on and how you're going to get out of this time loop and what you're doing in the time loop. And yeah, that's just me. Then I read The Perfect Stranger by Megan Miranda. 
four stars. Um, I really enjoyed how she set up the town and the characters. Um, really puts you in the book. The pacing, not for everyone. Um, and a lot of the reveals always happen at the end of the chapter. So it can kind of feel a little rushed. And you're just like, what's going on? Um, but overall, that's a good one as well. Then I read Replay by Ken Grimwood, which I gave four stars. This is a time loop story. So what was I just saying? I love a time loop. This one is different though. So, you know, most time loops, they're every day of like, hey, you're reliving August 25th over and over and over again. Um, this one, he's living 20 years and then resets. 20 years resets so it's like you have more time so like what are you spending your 20 years doing so it's pretty interesting um he kind of goes down the rabbit hole of like fame or money or love or different things like that so overall it's pretty interesting um read and yeah that's everything I read in March <laughs>